everyone, Heather Golden here again with Technology in Motion with our latest episode. Today we are at Kennard Highland Farms showing you how some technology in the dairy science industry has really kind of taken it to, to, to a new level. So um, we're going to take a look at that, uh, speak to some individuals that will give you some great insights. So here we go. All right, so now we're here with Brian to talk about some technology around the farm. Brian, what is this? Uh, this is a Lili Juno, they call it. Um, basically, it's to replace a skid steer um, to push feed up. Uh, the benefits of this is um, you don't have to be have a person or a piece of machinery going all night, or um, you can program it when you want it. You could do it on the hour, every hour, every other hour. Um, and it basically helps keep the feed pushed up to the cows, keeps it fresh, um, eliminates um, having a piece of machinery running all the time too. Nice, awesome. So away from the shovels yep. and more towards this thing that just kind of pushes it. Yep. Sweet. All right, so Brian, here we are with another contraption. It looks very robotic. Tell me a little bit about what this machine does. Uh, this is an A4 Lily robot. Um, we put it in in 2015. Uh, basically, milks our cows for us. Milking has come a long way and uh, this helps us manage our farm a lot better. It gives us the tools we need to, to test milk continuity, our fat, our protein. Um, gives us our daily run on how much milk we get in a day. So gone are the days of like, because what I picture it, so I'm very low knowledgeable on farms and stuff. I picture you like sitting on a stool, with like the, the bucket underneath and just like, that's gone, right? That's, that's done? all done, okay. yep. Yep, uh, it's come a long way from buckets to pails to the milking claw, um, which is always a good thing to always be moving forward and uh, gives us a lot more technology and a lot more data. Perfect. All right, so we just saw the big machine outside, the big automatic milk load. Now this uh, computer system kind of ties into that and tells you a lot of nice information. So tell me a little bit about this system and then kind of how that makes your job, I guess, quote unquote, easier. Yeah, basically this is where all our data ends up um, at the end of the day, or it's always being updated. Um, gives you your milk production, 24 hour period, pounds of milk per cow per day, how many visits you're getting. A lot of good stuff that helps you manage uh, what's going on in the barn. So I'm guessing back, okay, going back to the bucket days again when you would sit on the stool, um, farmers almost had to kind of, it was a guessing game on whether a cow was feeling right or kind of the milk production, but this technology really allows you to be a more efficient farmer in the ways that it kind of just spits out this information for you instead of it making it a guessing game, correct? Right, exactly. Um, we love these tools that we have and they continue to come out with them. All right, so you heard a little bit more today um, about the technology, oh, see you later. Um, that, <laughs> that's out there now in dairy, in dairy science and, and the dairy industry. So to check out more about the NWT, NWTC's Dairy Science program, go to our website, search Dairy Science, and it'll bring you right to that page. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and hopefully you got some good insight. See you later. We have an audience today. It's making me nervous. Oh, no. All right, so now we're here with Brian Kennard. Kinner. I want to say Kennard, but it's not pronounced Kennard, right? It's Kinner. Kennard. Kinnard. 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 I'm just going to say Brian. Yeah, How about just Brian? Brian. <laughs> okay, we only have a short time. Okay, we're rolling. Okay. Oh, now you come back. Yeah, come back. <laughs> Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy? Oh.